Some mastery points within Space Marine 2 can be a confusing matter due to the fact the game itself doesn't really tell you how to get them. They are a currency, more or less a currency used in upgrading your weapon with its perk tree. In this video, we'll explain everything you need to know about them. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Space Marine 2. So if you've seen this game and you want to play it, well it's as simple as this. Take part in my giveaway, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Space Marine 2 videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. So I won't lie to you. At first, I was very confused about mastery points and how exactly did I get more of them. The game itself doesn't make it clear enough and although I managed to figure it out by myself, I am still seeing many, many people, many, many players confused about how these work. Well, to be honest guys, the system's quite simple. Okay, so every weapon in the PvE side of this game, where you take part in those operations, all the weapons for all six different classes have four different sections. Each of those sections be holding different versions of that very same weapon. The sections are Standard, Master Crafted, Artificer and Relic. The Standard section you unlock for earning 1500 XP on that very same weapon. To then unlock the master crafted section, the green section, you need that green armory data. This is an item you find within operations on that minimal or average difficulty. Once you have one, you can then unlock the master crafted section, which beholds the master crafted versions of the weapons. Earning 7500 XP on the very same weapon will now allow you to unlock the Artificer section. But to unlock it you need a purple armory data which comes from the substantial difficulty. Earning 1700 XP you can now unlock the Relic section which requires a yellow armory data. These come from that ruthless difficulty. In doing all of this now, you have access to the different versions of your weapon. Now looking at your perk tree on said weapon, you can see and you will notice that the sections are now unlocked for you to apply those perk to. The sections you earned and opened up in regards to the XP and that master crafting, the artificer and the relic like we just spoke about. But to apply the actual perks within these sections guys, you need to work from left to right, but you also need those mastery points. So you can see that you do need quite a few. So how do you unlock mastery points? Well actually guys, it's quite simple. And this is something that went straight over my head. It's why I'm making this video. I had a look online and there's many, many people, Twitter, Facebook, social media, discords that are confused about mastery points so if this even helps a few of you out my job is done so how do you unlock mastery points again it's quite simple so within those weapons under those different sections i.e standard master crafted artificer and relic there are different versions of the very same weapon now at first upon you unlocking this section they fall under you can't just use them you need to first buy them with requisition that you earn via operations or the PvP side of the game. In my opinion, PvP is way, way faster. But if you just want to stick to that PvE and co-op, then operations is how you're going to earn this. But yes, requisition is used to then purchase the different versions of said weapon. But upon you doing this, guys, and you buying that said version, you will see that there's an XP bar associated with that version of that weapon which if you look closely, you can see like a little shadowed mastery token there. So how this works is with the weapon version you just purchased, you need to earn the required XP amount by playing operations with this weapon in hand. Upon you doing this, it rewards you a mastery token to spend within the perk tree on this very weapon. 
One thing I do want to say as well guys is mastery tokens cannot be used across multiple weapons. I wish that was the case because I'd be able to level up my sniper to the max but it really is not. Mastery points can only be used on a weapon you unlocked them with. Simple as that. No other way. I wish I was but there ain't. But yes, in first using an armor data to unlock the weapons version section and then purchasing that version of that weapon for that requisition. Using that weapon within that operation mode, you will earn XP for it. Upon completing that little XP bar you can see right there, you will earn yourself a mastery point to use in this weapons per tree. But guys, you can also skip the required XP to unlock that mastery point by using an armory data of the same colored section i.e. green for master crafted, purple for the artificer and yellow for that relic to master the version instantly skipping the need to earn the XP while using the version and gain yourself a mastery point instantly on the spot. It's a much much easier way in my opinion to do so because in doing this you don't necessarily need to be using the weapon you want to unlock the version with because at the end of the day the armory data comes from operations they're found hidden around the map it doesn't matter what weapon you're using when you find these they can be applied to any weapon any version to completely master it out so yes keep that in mind but again guys you can only use green in master crafted green come from the minimal and average difficulties we then have substantial which drops those purple armor data these can only be used in the artificer weapon version section to completely skip the xp needed to get that mastery token and then we have the ruthless difficulty this will drop you those yellow uh, armor data these are then used to obviously unlock the uh relic version of said weapon so you unlock those versions but you can also use this armor data to skip the um, xp required for the weapon versions under that relic section now i believe you may be able to go backwards on yourself here so i.e you can use the relic uh, armor data on the artificer weapon versions and same with the artificer purple armor data you can use on the master crafted green uh, version weapons to completely master them out it isn't something i've tried and tested myself as of yet but i was told by a friend this is how the system works but yes guys that is how you get those mastery points uh yeah i too was confused about them guys if you've enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one